If we reap what we sow energetically, does grace exist? Could you repeat that? If we reap what we sow energetically, does grace exist? Yes, yes, grace does exist. Um, my uh, definition of grace is that, um, that unwavering, uplifting power we have within us. No matter how sad you get, grace will lift you back up to a degree of happiness at some point. No matter how angry you get, grace is that power within us to restore a peaceful composure. No matter what you've done in the past that you might consider as bad, shameful, or, or guilty about, grace will uh, lift you back up to a state of wholeness. I think any person that's in AA or any other source of substance abuse, you know what the bottom is. You know what it's like to be so low and so much in despair and so hopeless that life has no meaning. But it is grace that allows you to restore your soul, so to speak, and return to a state of, of equanimity and move on to greater times of happiness. What is the meaning of life? Um, the meaning of life is um, creative, progressive expression. Now that's a technical term, but it's very easy. Since the beginning of time, Big Bang, 14 billion years ago, <clears throat> life substance has been evolving. It has been progressing creatively into greater expressions of life. We are here to progressively create a greater expression of ourselves. Greater being something that serves the world in a greater way, something that feels uh, greater to us inside. We have potential. The potential needs to be expressed. It has a desire to be expressed. The meaning of life is to continually express our higher potential because there is no thrill, there is no exuberance, there is no happiness that is greater than the self becoming more than it's ever been before no matter how minute of a difference that is. And what is the purpose of prayer? The purpose of prayer is to center ourselves. It is to uh, move away from uh, those negative situations in our mind that cause distress and disturbance and move to a point where we can commune with our higher power or our higher mind and, and they say in the, in, the, in the depth of the ocean, there's a place that always remains still. The hurricane might whoop out on the top and cause great turbulence and huge waves, but at this special place in the ocean, the water is always still. We have that same place within us. There's a place of stillness within us that we can always go to. We can move away from the ravaging storm of the chaotic world around us and find peace. In prayer and meditation, are the best way to get there. And with that, I think our time is up. The questions we didn't get a chance to answer, we will answer and post them on the internet. Uh, I thank you for being uh, a wonderful audience and providing um, food for thought. Thank you.